Hello, it's Rob from NL Solutions, and today we're going to look at the Cam Assist add-on for Mastercam. So in our previous videos, we had working on the um, three-axis setup for Cam Assist, and now we're going to look at three plus two setup. So just like the last one, we have to define our stock. So I'm going to set up my stock with this part that I'm working on here. And I'm going to define my master model and my fixture. Let me grab that from my fixture level. There we go. And that's all I have to do for uh, within master cam for a setup. So let's jump into our um, cloud NC ribbon and select the cam assist application here. Okay, so again, we have three ribbons to work through here. Our tool database, which I've already chosen, we'll leave it at that Cam Assist one. My material, I have my machine loaded. This time I'm going to choose three plus two. And then it gives me another few options down here. You can do your align to X, Y, Z, user defined or automatic. Since this part is fairly straightforward, X, Y, Z planes. Um, I'm going to just leave it set at that. We have our machine group, top selected. Um, I could select avoidance geometries if I wanted to. Maybe I want to select like the jaws. Push escape on my screen. And then my work holding, I'm going to leave this slider up all the way up to the top. So in our tool use, you can see it still has our library showing and it shows the number of tools that are available right now. Um, I'm not going to do too much in the cutting parameters. We'll leave that at default and I'm not going to um, do anything different in what tools are, uh, are allowed. I'll leave that set up standard. I'm going to make sure all my tool path types are selected. I could decide if I want some of them left out. Maybe I'm just roughing this part and I don't want to do finishing. I could, I could leave that out. I'll leave all those selected and machine part selected. I could choose the faces I want a machine, but I'm going to leave it all selected. For roughing, I'm going to leave the whole patch turned on so that what this does is uh, if there's any holes in your part, for example, for this, um, it will fill in those holes and then um, and then avoid that area when it's machining, right? Uh, and I'm going to leave my stock 10,000 for radial and axial values. And then in my finishing, we'll leave cut order by type. Um, for my finishing flat areas, I want to do the 2D area mill and not the horizontal. But um, Free foreign operations, we use waterline and my deburring tool type, I'll use this chamfer mill. And that's that's really all the setup I can do here. So I'm just going to choose the green check mark. So then Cam Assist is going to start collecting all that data. It's going to look at what we've set up. It's going to look at our part, um, being a master model, and then start building our tool pass from, from all that info. Okay, so now we can see that uh, Chem Assist has identified 40 uh, ops to create. And it's going to start building uh, those different operations and then grouping them into, um, into the various groups. Okay, so Chem Assist generated 40 operations machining 61 of 62 surfaces, which is kind of what I'd expect since that bottom face we can't um, can't reach that uh, please simulate tool path adjust settings where required and create strategies for the remainder of the part so we'll accept that and then all it needs to do now is um, finish regenerating all these tool paths okay so uh, cam assist is uh, completed it's given me, it looks like a 50 operation. So I think 
40, 40 ops, and then a bunch of stock models. It's added in. And then it's created them all in those groups. So I have my facing group, my roughing, flat, I have my walls, my hole making, my chamfering, and my deburring groups. And then you can go through these, uh, eliminate the ones that you don't want, and add to them as well. And just like any other tool path in Mastercam, I could go in and uh, change the parameters as I see fit. So let's let's look at these in a verify quickly and, and see what that gives us. Just let that run through, maybe not so fast. Yeah, that looks good. Looks like I got all those features, got the holes. And then if I do the file, compare, everything looks good to um, within my tolerances. And then one last thing is the, um, if I turn off my tool paths and I go into the levels so I can see um, See, so Cam Assist created a level for those for those holes, just to cover in those holes so we can machine over top of them. And that is the Cam Assist app for Mastercam.